Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to a new add-on. It's not new, but it's an add-on that uses geometry nodes. It's called the Geo Cables add-on, and it's somewhat free. Um, you can actually, uh, in this field, put the amount you'd like to give. But if you want to try it out, just put zero in this field and click on purchase, and then uh, they'll provide you with a uh, file or a folder you can download onto your system and once you've downloaded it on, downloaded it onto your system then you can install it in the blender and this only works in blender 3.0 and above because this uses geometry nodes but we're going to install it in 3.0 I'm using 3.1 myself and I've set up this thing so we can see how it works see how it functions let's go to edit and preferences click on install and navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Once you've done that, click on install add-on. I've already done it myself. But once you've done that, you'll see it pop up here. And then once you see the pop up here, just put a check in the box and it activates it automatically in Blender. And like I said before, I'll leave a description of the add-on below in this video so you can uh, take a cruise in it on your own so you can see what it does. But once you've done that, you'll see it'll be uh, in the toolbar on the right side of uh, your user interface, so let's left, left, left click on that. You have these options here. But before you do anything with these options for the Yo Cables add on, you have to reposition your window. And the reason being is that it takes over certain functions in Blender that are or assign other aspects of Blender. And you won't be able to use those functions that you normally would. And I'll show you what I mean here in a little bit. So I'm going to reposition my window here. I'm going to zoom in. I want to get a nice snug close-up view of the cables and then you click on create and edit cables or create or edit cables left click on that and then these options come up and the options for manipulating the cables are here here and here now we're going to go through this part of it and this part but this part is pretty much we'll we may look into it later on in another video, but right now this is just an introduction to the Geo Cables add-on. Now you left click once you've uh, activated this aspect of it. Left click on one uh, object model and left click on the other one and you see the cables appear between these two cubes here. And in, to increase the number of uh, cables or to decrease them, you scroll up and down on your mouse. So this is what I meant by it takes over functions in Blender that are assigned to other aspects of it. Usually when you scroll up on your mouse wheel, it zooms in, but because we've activated the geo cables, now the scrolling aspect of it just increases the cables, as you can see here, and decreases them. If you hold down S on your keyboard and move your mouse around, that gives you more space between the cables. You hold down D and you move your mouse around, that gives you a dip or less of a dip in your cables basically makes it go up and down. If you hold down control and left click on the face, ooh, sorry about that. Hold down control, left click on the face, it increases the number of cables, snaps more cables to your object. And if you hold down alt and left mouse button click, that creates a new split between the cables. Now once you've done that, you have other options here that you can look into. Uh, object to cables, we'll look, for this we'll have to look into uh, the other uh, mesh I have off to the right hand side here. And then for importing connectors and add ship connectors, that's something that we can look into right now also. But in order for these two to work, or to apply these two options, you have to right click to confirm that these are the cables that you want, but I'm going to reduce the number of cables so that we can see the connectors in operation. So I'm going to scroll down on my mouse wheel to get less uh, cables going. And I'm going to right click to confirm that this is what I want to use for the next step. So look, right click. And then we have these cables. Now I'm going to add shipped connectors because this comes with connectors built into the geometry nodes. So you hover and you left click and it adds these cables as you can see here. Now in port connectors, if you create connectors yourself, you can actually apply them to the cables with this option here, but we're not going to look into that right now. We're just going to leave it as it is because it's just an introduction to the Yo Cables add-on. 
And another good thing about these cables is that they come with textures applied to them. So I'm going to left click on our shader, our viewer shader to give us a different view of the cable. So I'm going to left click on that uh, icon there. Turn off our outliner. And you have different colors for the cables. It has these little textures applied to it. Black, red, uh, blue, and green, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about trying to apply this yourself once the cables are created. And then when you click on the modifier stack here, you have more options for this geometry node based uh, add-on, which is also nice. So we may go over these later on because this really does give you some different looks uh, in terms of how the cable, how you want your cable to look uh, just by changing these parameters here. And one test I always try to do with these uh, add-ons that work in 3.0 and above and not in, other, in any other version of Blender is try to export them as OBJs. Okay, so we're going to try that right now to see if we can export it out of uh, Blender 3.0 as an OBJ and use it in a different version of Blender that's not, that's like 2.8 or below or even in any uh, 3D based software. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go to choose the wave front object um, option there and selection only and I'm going to go to the desktop that's where I'm going to just save it geometry add-on dot obj and the reason why I'm doing this is because like I said before in my PC I can't export or use uh, any anything 3.0 based because on my PC it's not strong enough to I'm still using Windows 7 on my PC, so I don't, I don't want to upgrade. And because of that, I can't use anything uh, higher than 2.92 when it comes to Blender. But I've exported this as an OBJ. So I'm going to open up Blender 2.82. Let's see. Let me close this. Well, that can stay open. Well, let me just close out just to avoid any kind of crashing here. All right, so I've got that. Let me delete this cube. I'm going to go to File, Import, Wavefront Object. I'm going to navigate to where I've saved that. And here it is. Let's, hopefully this is going to import as an OBJ. Let's see if it does it. Oh, and it does. So that's a good thing. And I think it imported the textures too. It imported the connectors. And they look metallic. Let's go to EV and see what that looks like. Okay, it didn't import the textures. But I'm thinking the texture slots. Yep, the texture slots are here. So even if you wanted to uh, apply textures to this, you can still do it. It only has one texture for the cables, but that's still fine. I don't think that's a big problem. We can change the color, the base color. This blue green red so yeah yeah so this is a pretty good add-on that you can export um, out of 3.0 into uh, 2.82 and lower versions of blender under 3ds max or uh, Maya as an obj object so yeah this is today's blender quick tip the geo cables add-on it's a really nice add-on uh, that uh, makes cables pretty fast uh, so that's today's blender quick tip really appreciate you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are, are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.